Before we get into this part of the story, let's go back a few months. Everything seemed to be falling in place. As you guys know, I spent most of my holiday and all of my winter preparing my car for our upcoming adventures for spring and summer. I'm heading to Bortal 2 Skies, and I'm building up my vehicle to not only get me there, but also provide me a safe place to hang out and camp in. All right, today apparently is tire day. Wasn't expecting to buy tires today. I just came into Les Schwab to check them out, and I am leaving with tires for my project, so I guess that's a good thing. I was gonna do it anyways, but check out all these wheels too. It's not wheel day, but today it's tire day. All right, there it be, trail tire. A little bit more suitable for those adventures I'll be taking. And by March, I felt like I was gaining momentum on my project. I was enjoying my 10-year-old car more than I have in the past. And I was a month away from heading to Bortal 2 Skies. Or so I thought. Alright, I'm fixing this today. Dropping it off at the body shop. And I'm riding that home. <laughs> Without saying too much about it, I wasn't in the car when it happened. And the damage really didn't seem that extensive. But when my insurance company looked at the vehicle and estimated how much it would be, they decided to just total my vehicle out. And when I got the news, I felt like the universe just said no to all those adventures that I had planned. Now at this point, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. And if you know me, you'll know that I have a lot going on in life. And this, on top of everything else, was almost too much for me. I was left on my own to find another car in the worst economy I've seen in a long time. And that's when I freaked out and tried to buy another car. I had really good memories of my old SUV, the one I had right before my 500X. I literally drove it till it died, just short of 300,000 miles. I always regretted the day I let her go. I saw so many things and I had many adventures. And I thought to myself, that's the SUV I really need right now. Last time I'm gonna see her. Dude, this is a this is an epic moment, dude. You know how many places that thing's been? Thing is I thought that I'd be able to fix it up because it's in good shape, but I don't have a place to do it. So it's gonna go to a good family, you know? Oh yeah. Well at least you're donating something that's really functional, so Yeah. Out of pieces. Dude. <laughs> man, that was teary-eyed, man. It's life moving forward, man. It sucks. Yeah, see ya, dude. Another thing I gotta let go of. So there I was, looking at a newer model of it. In exactly the same year, I let my other one go. I think it's actually been in an accident. This is kind of cockeyed here. All right, here's this one that I'm checking out. I don't think anyone has figured out that I'm here yet. I just kind of rolled up on the lot, <laughs> which is great. Uh, this is in really good shape. There's a few things going on, of course. I mean, this is 10 years old, but oh no, it's super clean. 
like the carpets I mean everything it's it's pretty cool actually hanging out in the second row right now it's actually pretty comfortable in here it's got a faint dog smell very faint but uh, it's there what I liked most about it was the amount of space it had and of course the panoramic sunroof to look at the night sky after quite a bit of looking, I did narrow it down to two. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow. This thing's pretty nice. This one doesn't have a dog smell in it. Checking out for leaks. I don't really see any. The oil pan should be over here. And that's when fate intervened again. Right, I think today is car buying day. Arriving here at the dealership. I've chosen one that I liked. And hopefully I can get the deal I need. And there it is. Look, they already have it parked out front for me. <laughs> How nice of them. All right, let's hope this goes well today. And that's when I decided to look under the car. It's a little shiny under there. It appeared there were leaks all over the vehicle. The dealer checked it out for me. Apparently, in this generation Explorer, water pump failure was a common thing. I probably could have fixed it, but the price tag was pretty hefty. I must have spent days trying to figure out what my next move would be. There is this place I really like to go to think. It's kind of a guy thing. We have our spots. What I really needed to do was regroup. My brother always seems to know when I'm struggling. The both of us have endured so much in life. But no matter what, we've always had each other. He knows how much of a hard time I've had these past few years. When I needed him the most, he's always ridden shotgun. And it was more than just losing a car. It was my freedom to adventure. As adults, we still play just like we were kids. And at my low points, I always get clarity. Dude, when your life is measured by chicken wings, <laughs> you're living a good life. Wow. Haven't seen this stuff for a long time. Food? This kind of stuff. Man, this is great. Now, the one thing my brother did tell me was, the new adventures that I'd hoped to go on wasn't over, but instead I'm living that adventure right now. And this is just a small story from a larger design. You have PB news, you like? <laughs> and what I realized was, I don't really need to do anything right now. I can take my time and save up for a better vehicle. And if I target next year, I can cut down on some expenses this year so that I can just buy something outright that I really want, whatever that might be. And my life really hasn't changed that much. I still have my little Nissan Leaf. 
And to be honest, I drive it 90% of the time. I won't be going on any long road trips with it is all. I just have to be thankful for what I have and not concentrate on what I lost. And let's be honest, I'm in a transitional phase in my life right now. And always before big events, I always get tested. And I sacrifice and work to get there. But once I'm there, it'll all be worth it. I've got a lot of hope for the future. I just have to play my part right now. And isn't that what spring is all about? A time of hope and renewal. Celebrating life. Discovering things you've never seen before. And bravely venturing into the unknown. All right, here we are. Man, it's the first night I'm out in what seems like a really long time. I got a sliver of a moon up there. And we're going to try and shoot some galaxy for the first time this year. Uh, hopefully I'm able to add to my exposure time that I got last year. And hopefully we have a good time tonight, you know. So it's not quite time yet to pull our line, but really soon. All right, not looking too bad. Oh, <laughs> got all this stuff in it still. <laughs> I didn't have a goal tonight. I simply shot for as long as the night would allow. Adding to my exposures I got last year on M94, which is 16 million light years away from Earth and 13.28 billion years old. As I tell you, this whole situation has got me like so stressed. It's nice to be out here right now. The astrophotography just has a thing where it just teaches you to slow life down a little bit. That's why I love it so much, you know what I mean? It is beautiful out here tonight too. guys pretty short night only got a few hours of exposure time but like I said we're gonna add this to our already three hours so we'll have five hours total it was well worth it to come out here especially with all the things I got going on right now so I guess this is good night Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow, this is cool. All right, I'm <laughs> here. I am sneaking into the lot again, and uh, I'm in a forerunner. Got the moonroof. It isn't panoramic like the Exploder is, but. Sure is nice. I like it. I can definitely see myself in one of these. And it looks like it comes with 17 inch wheels, which is good because I can get like a meteor tire on it because that's a 265.70. So it's actually better than having a 20 inch wheel on there. Looks like these fold down and 
it's pretty spacious. I would say it's about from here to there, about six feet. And this one is 43 grand. Yowza.